Okay, greetings mortals, and welcome once again to the Axe Grazer. I am your god, Magma WK. Yes, on the Super Nintendo, I am a god. And we shall continue fulfilling the Fillmore. Because Fillmore is a land of happiness, because I have destroyed the monster that was in a hole but you no longer see. And there's something unexpected. If you go in those eastern woods, you will find a scroll. Very good, mortals. Now I shall accept your offering, so that I may gain another magic point. For my powerful magic. Are you mortals worthy of the magic? Of course not. But what I shall tell you to build? is to continue to build, for it shall increase my level. As more of you breed, the more of you breed, the more power I shall get. Because you people are my experience points. And as I gain more power, I shall gain more hit points, and access to even more lands. Speaking of more lands, I think you mortals will be okay, so I shall go to the Sky Palace and contemplate my next movement. I could improve the situation at Blood Pool, but I shall go to Consorda instead. Whatever you mortals call it. Gods don't care about names, they just care about fighting monsters. What kind of question is, are you ready? I am always ready. Angels have... I pay him too much. What do gods use as currency? Ambrosia, of course. The food of the gods. But did you not say gods do not eat? We don't have to eat, we choose to eat. And once again, we shall go across the desert to make this land hospitable for you humans. Why you would want to live in a desert, I do not know. I hear it is very uncomfortable for a species such as yourselves. Why you choose to live in inhospitable lands? I do not know, but I still need you to breed. So I guess here is good as anywhere. I am not making mistakes. I am merely demonstrating that even in this mortal form, mortals are still mortals, and they can get hurt and die, and that's why you need me to protect you. Will I always protect you? Maybe. How's your fate? Do you believe I will protect you? Do you believe you are good at platforming? Can you jump? Hmm. It's like a hive mind, really. Have you converted to magmaism yet? The benefits of my religion include being able to keep your own religion. Just as long as you praise me. And once you praise me, various good results will happen. Including another scroll of magic. It's a temporary, but it shall have its use. For I believe in firepower. Not just those things you humans call guns or whatever actual fire as a power. Now I skipped over a bunch of monsters there. You humans have to destroy some things. I can't do everything for you once again. But what I shall do is enjoy my apples. Are they Washington apples? Are they granny apples? Are they crab apples? And speaking of things that look like crabs, that is a giant ant lion. I am not an ant. Why do you 
confuse me like so. Humans are very confusing. Even for us gods. But remember, I am truly invincible when I use my magic. I am also truly invincible when the boss is destroyed. But so let's go to our desert and have some Arabian Nights. I shall make them all breed. And Act 1 is clear. So let's send... Insert stereotypical names here. And put a lane, a rain on your parade. Do you foolish mortals not know anything about irrigation? It is very simple, really. You just take some water, pour it out into a cloud, and set the cloud on said spot. Is it really that hard now? Speaking of hard, why don't you try sealing that monstrous lair? And do something useful for once. Ah, mortals. Hmm. They did not breed, they just built a cornfield. Which is very strange. Strange creatures. Oh, yes, speaking of strange, here comes the rain. Do not let it rain on your parade. Have parades for me. Because I must still know how awesome I am. Hmm, that looks familiar for some reason. <sighs> what are you doing? Are you eating sand? I hear sand is not healthy for humans. For our angel here, some more bone arrows. But even he is not immortal. He is merely temporarily powerful. So what happens if I do lose all my energy here with the angel? He is unable to shoot arrows, yet he can still fly. Why? It's the way angels work. It's how I made them. So stop questioning me. Never question your god. Never question any god. Well, they may just decide to flood you. Oh, they may strike a bolt of lightning and decide you are not worthy of building straw huts. And yes, I have killed my own people. I was not feeling benevolent today. And it looks like your mortal's time is almost up. So I shall return in another segment when you have built a little more for me. I am the god known as Magma, and I shall return in another scripture.